In the event of a no heating, no hot water, you go to your boiler, um, you remove this panel by pulling it forward and pulling it down like this. Then what I'd ask you to do then is have a check in here. If you get an overheat light, the boiler on light may be illuminated, may not. If that's the case, what you may need to do is switch the boiler to the off position, wait in a few seconds to a minute, and then switch it back on and see if the boiler fully lights up. If everything is okay, you'll see the sequence of lights start to proceed to go into the running mode, and you then should see your full flame looking through your little window. If you've got your first light on, that's indication your end external controls are working and then it's saying that it should fire up. If it doesn't, then there's a problem with the boiler. You need to call West Kent. If you've got your fan light on and it doesn't proceed any further, that's a further indication of fault with the boiler. You need to call West Kent again. And the same goes with the rest of it. Now, if you find then you go to boiler on, that's saying your external controls are working. You go to fan on, that's telling the machine the fan's working. If it doesn't proceed any further than that, if you can look through the little window and if you can see a spark, and a little pilot light, then that's saying there's a fault with the gas valve, you need to call us. But if you see no little light, no little flame, then you need to check your gas because there's a possibility you've run out of gas on your meter or somebody's actually turned your meter off. If you then go proceed on and you go to boiler on, boiler on then you look through your little window again and you see a little flame, no big flame, and it's again, you need to call West Kent because there's a fault probably with the gas valve. Here we're looking at a gas meter. This particular type is a uh, quarterly meter, which means you've got your bills quarterly. Over in the corner where the input comes in, you've got your emergency control valve, where in the event of emergency, you can isolate it from this point. This will stop any gas going to the property. People have been known to turn people's gas valve off for a bit of a laugh. So if you have got no heat and no water, it's worth coming out here and just checking to see that this lever is in the upright position. Here we have a gas meter. This one's known as a, an electronic token meter or credit meter. Gas valve or emergency mechanical control valve is in the same place as we saw on the last meter, except this one is a pre-credit meter. When you are putting credit on your meter, you insert your code. To follow the instructions on display, it will say press and hold the A button, which you do until it tells you to release it and then again, then it will tell you to hold the button for gas, which you do until you hear the motor run over and it says on. When you check in your credit, you press your A button. It would then come up on your display what your credit is. If it's showing zero credit, you'll need to get some more credit on your card. If it's showing off, it could be the fact that again, you need credit. Or if it says call engineer, there's a fault with the meter, you need to call your gas supplier.